Hey everyone, it's Tom here from thisonlineworld.com. I hope you're having a great day today. Now about two years ago, I wrote a post on This Online World about fitness apps that pay you. So different ways you can make money with fitness apps for walking, exercising, or hitting the gym. Honestly, lately that post has been blowing up. It seems like everyone is searching for that at the moment. I don't know if people are hitting home workouts or they're just going for a lot more walks these days because there's nothing else to do. Point is, people are searching for right now, so I figured I'd make a video on the different types of fitness apps that can pay you, the two different categories of fitness apps, and to answer the ultimate question, which is really, can you make money with these apps and is it worth your time? Without further ado, we'll get the laptop, we'll go to the table, and we'll take a deep dive on some of the most popular fitness apps out there and try to answer that question of exactly how much money should you expect to make and are these apps worth your time? Let's get to it. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, quickly before I begin, my name's Tom. I make weekly videos on personal finance, ways to make money online, side hustles, you name it. I have created a very professional Venn diagram here to break down quickly the different types of fitness apps that pay you because there's two distinct categories. So on the right here, we have betting apps. And the way that these fitness apps work is you basically place a bet on yourself to reach a certain fitness goal. That might be reaching a certain weekly amount of steps. It might be losing a certain amount of weight within a certain time frame. And if you reach your goal, you get your money back plus more, hence why you're betting. On the left here, we have data collection apps, and those are a bit more of like a passive income sort of app. The way these apps work, they're like other passive income apps. You basically install them, you run them in the background of your smartphone. These companies basically track your fitness levels, what stores you visit, and they sell your data to market research companies in return for giving you in-app points, which you can spend on you know, PayPal cash, free gift cards, or certain discounts. The commonality between these kinds of apps is obviously exercise potentially equals making money. The real question is, do fitness apps actually pay you for your efforts? We're gonna start with betting apps first, because I think they're a lot cooler and there's actually a bit more potential to make some money here. And the first app we're going to look at is called StepBet. Now, StepBet is probably one of the most popular fitness apps. The idea with StepBet is you make money by betting on yourself to reach weekly step goals. I'll break it down real quick. The way StepBet basically works is you connect a fitness device to StepBet, so be it an Apple Watch, Apple Health, Google Fit, Fitbit, Garmin, you know, it works with pretty much any device. Based on that, you're given a weekly step target. It analyzes your previous workout history, your previous activity levels, and gives you a weekly step target. What StepBet then does once it's calculated your goal is it breaks your weekly step goals into three main sections. You have active days, power days, and a free day. So it basically says, hey, in a week, you need to hit, you know, this many steps. We're going to break it down where you have four normal days, two days where you really make an effort, and one free day where you can kind of take it easy. Once you have your goal, it's time to actually join a game and bet with this app. So the way it works, the average game is about six weeks long and requires a $40 buy-in. So you can see here, this is an example of one of their games. $40 bet, there's 300 players for a pot size of 12 grand. Before you get real excited, this is how their actual payment model works. You know, you're not gonna win and then get $12,000. The way step bet works is you compete for six weeks. If you miss your step count for a week, you're eliminated from the competition, you lose your buy-in. And if you make it to the end of the competition, you split this pot with all of the remaining players. Step bet takes a 15% cut. Whoever's left standing just splits the remaining money. Once you win a game, you get the money in your account. You can cash out to PayPal within 48 hours, or you can roll the money over into another step bet game. There are are some nuances with this app like you can play multiple step bet games at once if you're a step bet member which costs $50 per year there's a few different member only games and step bet doesn't take their pot cut more or less you're looking at an app in a system where you bet on yourself that you're gonna be active and get your daily step count and your weekly step count and if you make it to the end you make money the real question is how much can you actually make by reaching your step count so if we look at some reddit threads just over here in r slash step bet you can see people are saying here like they've made oh i made eight dollars from a forty dollar buy-in on a non-member game this guy's saying that oh i won 27 dollars from a marathon game marathon games are a longer member type game another 26 dollars from a marathon game it seems like you play non-member games you make seven eight bucks a game you play some marathon games as a member you can make 25 dollars you know up front doesn't actually sound too bad the real trick with step bet it bases weekly step goals on prior activity level the more active you get the more difficult your weekly step goals become. So as you can see, here's one user posting that his active days, he had to take 21,000 steps each day, two power days at 40,000 steps, and then he had a free day. It's getting to the point where you know, you're going to be walking a lot. I would say step bet is good for people who are looking to be more active. You can wager $40 that you're going to meet your step bet goal. You know, you might win eight bucks every, every six weeks, which is still something. Eventually you might hit a point where it's a little difficult, but again, step bet is a low risk, low effort way where you can wager on yourself to improve your activity levels. You might win some extra grocery money in the process. And I think it's one of the better fitness apps that pays you out there. All right, fitness app number two. And this one has been all over the news because it claims that you can win up to ten thousand dollars for meeting a weight loss goal is healthy weight i've written a healthy weight review i'm gonna link it down below if you want like a complete breakdown of how this app works 
But here's the gist of it. You use the healthy wage calculator, pick a weight loss target, a time frame for that target, and how much you're gonna wager on yourself per month to actually reach this goal. In this example, we're losing 30 pounds in nine months. We're gonna bet $100 on ourselves to reach that goal and let's say in eight months. So Healthy Wage will put you through a list of questions about your gender, your current weight, why you want to lose the weight, what you plan on doing with the money. Just say you're 200 pounds, you know, you enter your height, or let's just say you're five, 10 or something like that. You know, just a tall dude. You give them the reason why you want to actually lose weight and what, what you would do with the money. Eventually you calculate your prize. Now, as you can see here, it's saying, if I bet $100 per month, to lose 30 pounds in eight months. If I win, I receive $871. Essentially with healthy wage in this scenario as a 200 pound male who's 5'10", looking to lose 30 pounds in eight months, I would win $71 and 11 cents if I could actually accomplish that goal. Two things to keep in mind here. That might not sound like a lot, but it's actually an 8.89% return, which really isn't that bad. Again, you have to consider what happens if you don't reach this goal. $800 is a lot of money and obviously, $71 isn't anything groundbreaking, but I'm sure if you lost $800 trying to reach a weight loss target, that could be a pretty big financial hit. Healthy Wage is one of those apps where if you're looking to really aggressively lose weight and you need some form of monetary incentive or you need something to actually encourage you to stick with things, it might be worth trying. If you just want to lose a bit of weight, it's not that pressing and not that urgent. This really isn't worth your time. There's a bunch of different research on the topic of using monetary incentives to enforce behavior. Some studies show that indeed monetary incentive can reinforce positive behavior or certain patterns in individuals, but other studies have also found that as soon as the monetary incentive disappears, old and harmful behavior simply return and there's really no net benefit. I would take Healthy Wage with a grain of salt. I mean, there are team challenges where you can compete for $10,000. You can see like they've been featured all over the press. They have success stories everywhere. You have stories here, people who have lost certain amount of weight, dramatic amounts of weight even, and how much money they've won. Yeah. Another thing to keep in mind with these sorts of apps, I mean, you look at stories of losing like 44 pounds in six months for $2,000. I'm not a dietitian. I don't know if that rapid amount of weight loss is too fast, if it's if it's just fine. You know, it, it's something where apps like these can also get out of control in terms of your relationship with weight and what you're actually doing this all for. Your relationship with food, your relationship with self-image. It's one of those things where this app definitely isn't for everybody. I do like the premise of being able to bet on yourself to provide a form of monetary incentive to accomplish your goal. For some people, it, this will really work. And for some people, it's just a waste of money. You really have to make that judgment call if an app like Healthy Wage is worth it. Okay, so we've covered two different fitness apps now that pay you for betting on yourself to reach a certain fitness goal. It's now time to switch over to, again, those data collection apps I mentioned and to see if these apps actually pay you. Are they worth installing on your cell phone? And do you want to exchange your data for what these apps have to offer. First app we're gonna look at is called Achievement. And this is by far one of the most popular fitness apps around. It has over 3 million app downloads on, you know, on the iOS store, or Google store. Here's how this app works. Basically with Achievement, you connect apps to Achievement to earn points. So you, as you can see here, you can connect Google Fit to track your heart rate and your steps. You can connect an app like Strava to track your biking. My Fitness Pal works with Achievement, so you track the food you're eating. You can even answer surveys or join medical questionnaires with Achievement to earn bonus points. Posted a health-related tweet, earn six points. It's basically an app that awards you for tracking and sharing your fitness, your food intake, and how you engage with different health content around the web. Every 10,000 points you earn is worth $10. It's redeemable via PayPal, direct deposit, or you can just donate it to a charity of your choice. Like I mentioned here, you can see participate in cutting edge research. So join survey panels and studies potentially. The key question with achievement, like all of these other fitness apps, is truly how much money can you make by just passively installing this app on your phone and just letting it run in autopilot? Well, if we look at their FAQ section on how the point system works, it says you can earn up to 80 points per day, so eight cents, each tracked activity type. So biking, walking, running, swimming, and they connect with over 20 apps and devices. You can also earn up to six points per day for daily activities like logging food, sleep tracking, weighing yourself, meditating, and sharing your health journey on Twitter. Moral of the story, you can earn about 14 points a day if you do absolutely everything with this app. I actually used Achievement when I was in college because I was walking to school every day and I figured I could use this fitness app to earn some passive income. And as you can see, I, I you know, I answered a survey for 200 points. I tracked my activity every day and I was getting six points, which isn't even a penny. Pretty quickly, I realized to reach 10,000 points at the rate I was going at wasn't looking too good. And that's kind of the issue with a lot of these data collection fitness apps. You need to be biking, walking, running, swimming, and you know, logging your food intake with MyFitnessPal. Realistically, 80 points per day is not feasible for 99.9% .9 of people. Let's say you did earn 80 points per day. Like you were a superhuman every day, day in, day out. That's like 30 bucks a year. You earn maybe another 30, 40, $50 through surveys throughout the year. Like that's $80 a year for just having an 
app on your phone and being a superhuman. But for most of us, I think the key with achievement is maybe as the average person can earn 10 to $20 if you know they cycle and walk a lot and they make some effort to answer surveys, maybe another 10, $20. So it's at most, I would say a 30 to $50 per year app, if that, I think that's a bit generous. I don't wanna knock achievement too hard because I don't think that's necessarily the key. Really what this is about is using data to track your activity levels, getting encouraged to be more active and earning small bits of passive income for your effort. The main goal here is to encourage yourself to get off the sofa a bit more and to get those steps in and to, you know, to kind of be more conscious about your health. Just have realistic expectations about how much achievement will actually pay you. All right, the fourth and final fitness app that we're gonna look at is one that claims to pay you to walk and that is Sweatcoin. Probably the most popular fitness app out there and it's probably one of the scammiest, weirdest, love it or hate it kind of apps around. Sweatcoin tracks your steps, indoor and outdoor steps, where you go, everything you do in a day, and in return, it pays you with Sweatcoins, the app's digital currency. I've been using Sweatcoin for about two years. I'll show you my account in a little bit. It hasn't impacted my life in any way. I like the app, but I definitely think they promise a lot and kind of fall short on delivery. So here's the main problem with Sweatcoins. They state that you can buy things with your Sweatcoin, you know, buying things like athletic wear, headphones, audiobooks, you know, different subscriptions. Honestly, this is a bit of a stretch and I'll show you why. Let's hop right into my Sweatcoins account. You can take a look at my Sweatcoin wallet here. To date, I have 660 Sweatcoins in my account. You can see that I've received points for walking with my cell phone and, you know, five Sweatcoins for reaching my step goal. Your phone's on you realistically all the time. So having this in your pocket, you're gonna earn Sweatcoins no matter what you do. Let's take a look at how you can actually spend these mystical Sweatcoins. Here is where Sweatcoins gets into a lot of trouble if you ask me. You can see immediately they say, you can use Sweatcoins to earn a thousand dollars PayPal cash. It shows like indeed you can get a thousand dollars PayPal cash, but you have over 600 people to invite to do that. And it's the same for all of their other PayPal prizes. And that's really not realistic for most people. PayPal rewards from Sweatcoins, you are never going to see no chance. There's, you know, a free $5 from Acorns. So if you sign up with Acorns, a spare change investing app, which I honestly think is crap, you get $5. If you're actually into the spare change model and you're going to use Acorns, this isn't actually that bad. One month free meditation from Fitmind. So that's just a free offer. Okay, four Sweatcoins for 60% off a super chewer box. These are kind of the offers that are honestly the best on Sweatcoins. You spend a bit of Sweatcoins, this would take you a day to reach and you get 60% off something you might've already been planning on using. Again, another example of that, $5 for $20 off your first Home Chef box. So if you're gonna try out a meal delivery service, maybe try out Sweatcoins first, save yourself some money. Ah, here's another one. I actually redeemed this one a long time ago. It's four Sweatcoins for a razor set from Harry's. Got to try out Harry's. It wasn't a bad set of razors. I have more down here, another food-based one, free seven days to Disney Plus. Again, this is crap because you could just find this on the web yourself. Discounted Dollar Shave Box, you can donate to charities. And here's again, other marathon offers they're called on Sweatcoins that are frankly just crap. I mean, you look at 11,000 Sweatcoins for a fight camp personal boxing gym. You can earn like a max of 40 sweat coins a day, I think, if you upgrade to their maximum account. And that's that's a ton of steps. That's like 20,000 steps per day. So you're looking at a massive time commitment to reach this 11,000 sweat coin mark. So you're never going to see this fight camp personal boxing gym. Same with these. You're not going to see this camera. You're not going to see this light emitting wearable device, whatever that is. Math does not work out in your favor. It's not quite a scam, but it's definitely getting into that territory. At the most, I would use this app to, again, encourage yourself to take more steps. Maybe if you want to use the app to look for those sign up bonuses, like I mentioned. Moral of the story, once again, is to have realistic expectations with these fitness apps because they really don't pay out that much in terms of cold, hard cash. One more app I'm quickly going to touch on, and this was, again, if you're not interested in the bits of spare change or passive income or the betting model and you really just want some motivation to work out or to get more active and to get off the sofa is Charity Miles. Charity Miles is basically like sweat coins, except instead of earning sweat coins, you earn money, real money, that's going towards a charity of your choice. You start tracking your fitness activities before you do anything. So before you hop on the bike or the treadmill or the gym, you earn points towards the charity of your choice. And at the end of your workout, you end tracking and that money is donated on your behalf to that charity. Charity Miles is pretty cool. Like they work with a bunch of charities like Alzheimer's, WWF, Feeding America. You can find something that speaks to you and you know will encourage you to hit the gym or to get active and to get those steps in and actually raise a nice amount for a charity that you know you care about. So I think it's a great app. If you're not looking for a fitness app that pays and you just want to get more active and to do some good in the process, I definitely recommend downloading Charity Miles. That does it for this list of fitness apps that pays you. Let's take it back over to the sofa and we'll wrap this one up really quickly. I hope this video has helped provide a bit of insight into the different kinds of fitness apps out there, how much they pay, and if they're actually worth your time. You know, there's, there's a bunch of different apps out there that kind of suit 
different people. You have betting apps where you can really bet on yourself to reach an aggressive weight loss goal or a certain step goal, and you can actually earn a bit of money for your time and effort with those sorts of apps. On the flip side, there's more passive income apps out there like Achievement or Sweat Coins that pay you in in-app points, which you can redeem for some cash or maybe some free sign-up bonuses or discounts. They're not gonna break the bank, but again, I don't really think that that's the entire point of this video or the entire point of fitness apps in general. The reason I write about fitness apps on a personal finance channel is to Fold. One, you can earn bits of spare change for your time like I just explained. And two, I think the concept of tracking your fitness, trying to be more active and to improve your overall fitness and lifestyle, you know, be more healthy, has some pretty serious financial implications alongside of just making you healthier and happier. It's no secret that healthcare costs, especially in the United States, are immense and it doesn't really get better the older you get. Therefore, I think it stands to reason that the more you invest in your health and your well-being and your fitness, the more you're actually doing for your wallet and your financial health as well in the long run. There's studies out there that show the impact of you know taking more steps or increasing your heart rate each day and what that does for reducing your list of a wide array of chronic diseases. Plus, I think it's just a fun way to kind of track everything, make it easily accessible on your smartphone and to set different goals for yourself. And at the very least, you know, get charity miles on your phone. Next time you're going for a bike ride or a walk, pick a charity you want to support earn some money for them, and that might make you feel a bit more inclined to get outside more often and to live a more active lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped clarify a bit of what to expect from the world of fitness apps and how you can make money with them. As always, I'd love if you guys could subscribe, like the video, leave a comment of what you thought, or if you have a favorite fitness app that you recommend for other people to try out. As always, don't forget to check out thisonlineworld.com for more unique ways to make and save more money. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.